And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final four in the semifinals at the Euros. We got Italy, Spain, England, and Denmark. So what I'm going to do in this video is give my semifinals predictions. So let's get into this video, shall we? So first, we got Italy versus Spain on July 6th in three days. And the most impressive thing about this game is just how far Spain were able to make it to the final four, despite them not having that crazy juggernaut of talent like how they did 10 years ago. They still were able to make it all the way to the final four. So that's what you got to admire about this Spain team is just, you know, their determination I think it's because I think uh, Luis Enrique just motivated the players and you know Unai Simon has been a hero for Spain you know in that penalty shootout against Switzerland for Spain to still make it to the final four like this is just absolutely incredible and just extremely impressive as Spain were able to win three to one on penalties against Switzerland now in my opinion in this game I think that Italy obviously have the better squad compared to Spain I mean you look at Italy's midfield and if you compare it to Spain's midfield Italy have a way better midfield I feel like and the biggest question going into the Italy and the Spain game is that how will Spain be able to break down Italy's back four with their quick tiki taka passing? Because we saw in that Switzerland game how Spain were just giving Switzerland trouble with their quick tiki taka back and forth passing. But the only difference in that game is that Spain just couldn't capitalize on their opportunities and it took them a penalty shootout to get a win against Switzerland. Because you look at Italy's back four, I think that Italy's back four is going to be ready for Spain's quick tiki taka passing. And another thing in this game is that how will Spain be able to fare off against Italy's front attack, you know, with Spain's defense? Because the biggest challenging thing for Spain in this game will be to figure out how to, you know, stop Italy's front attack. Because, I mean, Italy's front attack in this year has just been absolutely dominant. And the biggest task that Spain will have against Italy is just to figure out how to take away all the spaces for Italy inside their own half. Because the way how I see it, if Spain simply are able to be composed and organized on defense and just take away Italy's passing opportunities inside their own half, then maybe Spain can keep this game scoreless. But it might be impossible for Spain just because Italy's front attack has been really, really good in this tournament especially their defense. I mean, Italy just have the most complete squad in this entire tournament. And I think it's going to take extra time for Spain to maybe even consider getting a win against Italy, even though that might be very tough for them. But if Spain somehow managed to open up Italy's back four with their quick tiki taka passing, then hey, Spain can definitely go all the way to the final. But it's going to be very tough. And I think it's going to be one of those games for Spain where Unai Simon, he's going to have to have a big game to, you know, save shots from Italy and not concede any goals. But speaking from a realistic point of view in this game, I have to say probably two to one for Italy after extra time just because I don't see how Italy are going to lose to Spain just because Spain kind of struggle against Switzerland and Italy I think that Italy are going to you know be able to take advantage of Spain's back four with their midfield unless Spain's back four has a really good day against Italy I see Italy winning this game two to one after extra time because I have a feeling that Italy are definitely going to go all the way to the final since they have the better overall talent and now we have the England and the Denmark game so like I predicted in my Italy and the Spain game I think this game is going to go to extra time I don't think that this is going to be like a 4-0 victory for England. I think that Denmark are going to be very composed defensively in this game. And speaking of Denmark, I think that Denmark have what it takes to maybe, you know, put up a challenge against England. Despite England having the better overall squad in this game, I still feel like that Denmark, they're going to be able to just put up a challenge against England with their teamwork, their team chemistry, and just their determination overall. So I do imagine that Denmark, they're going to have some chances against England. Now, the way how Denmark can pull off an upset here against England is just them taking advantage of their chances that they create. Because that's how you win against a team like England is just taking advantage of your chances against them. But going into this game, I can imagine that England are going to try and play the very wide to try, you know, get past Denmark's back four. But so far, Harry Kane for England right now in these last two games has just been absolutely on fire, scoring three goals. But you still got to admit, it was absolutely impressive for Denmark to make it to the final four here. But from a realistic prediction, I think it's going to be two to one for England after extra time. I think Harry Kane's going to score both Gs for England here. So that's my prediction for the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and like comment subscribe and peace